I will need an Inquisition at some point, but I don't need it just yet. We could grab gunpowder really quick to get some better units. Again, in case Egypt ends up declaring war on me. Yeah, look at the, the units they have already. I guess they focused more on the military techs because they were at war uh, with Lincoln a few times. They are still at war. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. She's focusing more on military techs because she's at war with Congo and with Lincoln. So that makes sense. Uh, that means it's unlikely she'll declare war on me while she's busy fighting them. But it could still happen at some point. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of people disliking each other. We got three more builds here, so one for Amber, one for Horses, and one probably to chop another rainforest. And maybe harvest the wheat. I should unlock the dams sometime soon. In fact, I should probably do it right away. Like, now. It's safe to say we will not own two galleys. <laughs> I could in theory, but it's not gonna happen. She wants to buy my grid works. No, sorry, I kind of like my grid works. Okay, there's the Suguba. So just fade by the market. Here you go. Another governor title. I got three secret societies, but not the one I wanted. <laughs> because I kind of wanted Void Singers. But we actually didn't get it. I could still get uh, vampires, vampire castles, I mean. I could get also Minerva. I mean, also Minerva would also make sense with how many trade routes I'll have. So that's probably fine. Yeah, I guess also Minerva makes sense. Hermetic Order for meme. I think I'll keep that for another game. Especially with how far behind I am. Okay, let's just get also Minerva. And that gives us another slot right away. So we'll move scripture here. And uh, so Returners is probably not worth it right now. Plus 11 gold is not worth it. Uh, plus 23. That is a little bit better, yeah. Okay, plus 23 gold right now is probably worth it. That's a good boost in my income. And I will be using that gold for sure. So let's do that. Speaking of using gold. Let's get some crossbows. Oh no, I'm getting a penalty with all of them because I went for all of Minerva. Yeah, they didn't like my secret society. If it's a secret society, how do they know it exists? Huh? Huh? How does everyone know about it when it's supposed to be secret? Explain that. Rip Scout. Alright, more era score. That's from the Monday Kalu Cavalry. An architect should live as little. Alright, and we unlock the dam. So finish the builder, then we'll start the dam. There's the cavalry. How's our era score now? I still got at least 20 turns, but I'm nowhere close to the golden age requirement yet. Hopefully we can get there. We'll find out. So banking to get the banks in all the sugubas I got. That's going to be a massive gold boost. That's going to be a lot of banks. Yeah, university to work on some science. Uh, maybe I could just buy the universities actually. It's 800 gold. Not exactly cheap, but... Okay, that's kind of expensive. I could still buy at least one though. In one of the lower production cities perhaps. Yeah, like this one. That works. Okay, so just to boost Walata, we'll buy the monument and the granary. And probably start building medieval walls. I might not need them, but this city will be hard to defend if Cleopatra declares war on me. As an alternative, I could start building a harbor. Okay, let's actually grab one harbor because I have none. That might come in handy. It would also help my era score. I could get some ships to boost my era score. So that's a good idea for sure. Right, there's the builder. Now we can build the dam. So right here. And I can speed it up a little bit. How's Cleopatra doing now? Alright, she's not that far ahead, but she's doing pretty well. Definitely need to catch up a little. 
We're working on it. I should grab a few more campuses. I have three right now. Two more are planned already. Yep, Vesuvius blew up. I mean, that's going to happen. But pretty nice yields. <laughs> Very nice yields. How much gold for a builder? 420. So let's grab a builder in Wallata now. I can sell some niter, like a smaller amount perhaps. Okay, is that actually enough for a builder? I'll be like one short, won't I? No, it's enough. 420. Alright, here you go. Got the builder. So grab the amber. Amenities look fine. I would obviously prefer a bonus, but we are not getting any penalties. Oh, okay. Lincoln got Buffalo back. It's still flipping again, but it looks like we won't be getting Buffalo after all. Unless we get it later. Now, I don't want to spread my religion a little bit more to Egypt. So we could maybe do that. Unfortunately, there's no Yerevan. So it will be a little bit random what I'll get on my Apostle. Uh, there's no way to know in advance. Okay, let's try to get something useful for spreading. More era score. Now, if I want to really secure my Golden Age, I could start a war and then convert some cities, but it can't be a war with Egypt. <laughs> for obvious reasons. I could, in theory, start a war with Lincoln and convert his two cities to get era score that way. I could do that. He's weak enough at this point. So it's an option. Right, how about more alliances here? Cultural can be with basically anyone. That's not super relevant. Let's get cultural alliance with the Ottomans. Maybe military with Persia. And I guess economic or something. All right, that'll do. How many tags does he actually have right now? 32, right? I have 28. So in theory, he might still have units more advanced than mine. That's possible. Yeah. Let's get that damn finished faster. I would probably need more than two pikemen and like two crossbowmen to do this. But I don't actually have to capture his cities. I just need to convert one or two while being at war to get era score. Uh, right, so let's grab humanism. Faith by the Gurdwara. That's 121 faith per turn now. Not too bad. Theater square. Okay, campus. I could get a plus three, but it would be next to a volcano, which is maybe not very safe. But I could do it. I will get the Liang with reinforced materials eventually, but I can only have Liang in one single city. <laughs> Not in every single city with a volcano nearby. So I'll have to pick one. So what can we get for our promotion? The Bater Pilgrim. Okay, Pilgrim is nice. Let's get Pilgrim. Especially since we have a natural wonder, like literally right here. And then I can try to spread marbles to Egypt a little bit. That's the plan. I can still have one more city to the north. And I can have a city here. It's turn 154. It's still kind of early. It might still be worth it. There is citrus up here, which I do not have. And there's one more nighter up here as well. Yeah, that's probably worth it. Where's Magnus? He's down here. I guess I should move him and then get a settler. A settler is a little bit expensive to gold by now. 1,280. That's a bit much. Not sure if I want to spend that much. Probably just recruit a settler the regular way in Jenny. We got another great merchant. Yeah, not the best great merchant ever, but I guess I'll grab it anyway. I, I will not get a great merchant anytime soon if I pass, so I do not want to pass. So we need to go to a city-state. Rapanui is the closest one. 
it is already mine. I could go to Nanmandal. That's an option. I do have some legs, but it wouldn't give me that much benefit. I could go all the way here to Bologna, but that's kind of far away. Yeah, that's kind of far away. Not sure if I want to go that far. Maybe. It will take me a while to get there. We can get a spy now as well. We should definitely get a spy. Actually, hold on. Right, let's start a spy in Timbuktu and speed it up by harvesting the stone here. I want a spy to spy on Egypt. Maybe steal some tech boosts. How many turns would it take me to get here? 12? I guess that's not the end of the world. Alright, it's a nice bonus. Look at these yields. <laughs> Pretty nice. Definitely nice. And there's this style as well. That's not improved yet. Alright, six spreads now. So I think I'll go to Egypt. There isn't much competition there for a religion. So I can spread my religion to Egypt a bit. It will take me some time to get there, but it's definitely worth it. Alright, we'll embark and just go this way. I'm waiting to get 800 gold here. And we can fade by another Gurdwara on the next turn. Next up, metal casting. So, marble. I'll grab the fish on the way, though. Yeah, yeah, I see them. I see them. I might have to grab an apostle for defense. Well, he says he will respect my wishes. We'll see about that. I don't exactly trust them to do that. I will fight by the Gurdwara, though. Grab the barracks really quick. Yeah, so do I really want to build a campus next to a volcano? I guess I might have to. This city will get Liang with reinforced materials eventually. So I guess it's not a big deal. Alright, it's not a big deal and I need more science. For obvious reasons. I could fight them with this dude, but I wouldn't want to lose him. And hopefully they will just leave, because he said he will leave. I don't know if I trust him. How much for another apostle? Because it would be best to get the baiter. Uh, 365. So I can grab one on the next turn. He seems to be leaving. Oh, we lost religion in Corosa. Right, I need to get that back. I think now I need to get the Inquisition. So what I can do is use free converts with the apostle and then launch an Inquisition. Because I only need free charges to launch an Inquisition. And we got free extra spreads from Pilgrim. So we could do that. That's probably best. Because I clearly need some Inquisitors at this point. So there's the dam. Now obviously industrial zone. And just need to swap that tile. Here you go. That will be a plus eight a bit later. More era score. How's our era score? I might not be able to get a golden age. If we're closer to 11 turns away from the next era, I probably won't get a golden age. That looks pretty unlikely right now. That's a bit too much era score to get in a very short time period. I will still try, but it's starting to look unlikely. I should also get one gunpowder unit. I think I'll have to recruit one myself. We can grab one after the barracks. Okay, cartography is five turns. Yeah, Golden Age is looking really unlikely right now. I got ten turns. All right, let's grab a galley. I guess I could just buy one if I really want to. I might have to buy some other units. I need a musket man. That's 960. So I could just buy a musket man with gold. I think I'll do that. Yes, first spy. I think so. We're about to get a spy. 
there it is. Uh, that's oh yeah, that's the industrial zone with plus four or higher. No, spy does not give her a score. Uh, let's go spy on Egypt. They might not like it, but uh, they're the best target to get some boosts. Chicago, sure, we can go to Chicago. Yeah, Golden Age is looking pretty unlikely. Hold on, though. So we'll get the galley. Yeah, this is a bit too much. 12. How much time do I have again? Nine turns. A military engineer wouldn't do much. Wait, Siege Tower wouldn't give me error score, would it? No, it wouldn't. I mean, I can just get a Siege Tower like this. Well, let's grab a military engineer anyway, because I need one. I mean, yeah, I can levy some troops, but it's not a lot of score. It's not enough to push me to the Golden Age. Uh, right, Harbor, that's right. Can I actually do both quickly enough? I might have to buy that galley after all. So two turns to finish Harbor. Uh, I got eight. Okay, it should be fine. This should be seven total. But sometimes, like, it's a little bit off. This might uh, go to six turns instead. Once the harbor is done. This will still not be enough. I don't think so. It's going to be really close. It's actually going to be really, really close. Like, super close. Right, so getting a Masked Man should give me a score. We can just buy one with gold on the next turn or so. I guess I'll just do that. Buffalo will flip in six turns. I can launch an Inquisition for one point. I'll be doing that anyway. Oh, okay, Congo declared war. Really, Congo? Uh, okay then. Oh, Void Singers. Yeah, now we found Void Singers. Now it's a little bit too late. Uh, okay, hold on. We can probably get others to declare war on them. We definitely can do that. Uh, who is she at war with now? Probably with a lot of people. Yep, with a lot of people. Uh, Rome. Rome is not doing too great. Actually, he seems to be doing alright. Join ongoing war. Here you go. <laughs> We're starting a world war. And that's pretty much what's going on here. Yep. Pretty much. Join ongoing war. Okay, that should be enough, hopefully. So, okay, if I could convert them real quick, that would give me more error score, but I only have seven turns to do that. I don't think that's enough time. Yeah, everyone's invited. I don't think that's actually enough time. Alright, well, I will buy a Masked Man, if only because I need some defenses. Here you go. 284 gold now. We can move our Mandekalo Cavalry over. Yeah, let's just move everything a little bit towards Congo. I should be fine. I mean, I have decent walls. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. And they aren't as advanced. So it should be okay. I could grab a few more units for defense, but it will take a little bit too long to actually train them, as opposed to using gold. Let's actually pop some campus research grants once or twice. Get a little bit of extra science. And now, I need to go back into my territory to launch an Inquisition, which means I don't want to go too far in. I got seven turns. Because if I go, like, south to pop one charge on one of these other cities. I will not have enough time to go back into my territory to launch an Inquisition. So, let's just launch it right now. Uh, Nanmandal. Oh, I can convert Nanmandal uh, with this uh, merchant. Wait, can I not? Oh, it must be non-hostile. Seriously? It must be non-hostile? Oh, that's dirty. What good are you, then? What good are you? Like, actually, what good are you? 
Well, that's a bit awkward. <laughs> Must be non-hostile. Great. Okay, I could still try to convert. I have enough faith I can escort my apostle. But if they attack me with too many units, it, that will not go too well. I have no idea what kinds of units she has. But all right, let's grab an apostle. Hopefully I'll get something useful. I have very little time, seven turns. This might not actually be enough to get there and convert. Dust storm, really? Uh, here's the harbor. Come on, man. Right on top of my, encamp my campuses. That's just rude. All right, Inquisition for plus one. A galley is coming in three turns. This is going to be like super close. Super close. Uh, I should send some traders to city-states, actually. What's the best one right now? None of them are very good. Timbuktu to Rapanoi. I mean, that's pretty bad, but okay. Stupid dust storm. Oh, here, we can send one right here. All right. One last build. I think I might save that in case I'll need repairs in the area. So what can we get? A translator, yes. Okay, so that's what I needed. But is it actually enough time? That's the question. That's a good question. And yes, I can see that apostle again. Okay, get the translator, escort him with the masked man. If I can convert this city, that will be enough for a golden age. It will depend on what's defending it. I will have two or three turns to pop the apostle. We'll get some points from the galley. I don't think I can get points from anything else now. I got all the units that would give me points. There's nothing else in particular coming up. I mean, I can fade by a bank, but that won't give me any error score. I mean, I might still do it anyway, because I can use the money. Hey, we could also get an actual Inquisitor, right, because I need to convert back my other cities. Inquisitor it is then. Here you go. Any great people? Let's check great people. Are we close to anything? What can be labeled? Uh, not really. That was an ugly sound. Yeah, that stupid dust storm is wrecking my districts. That's kind of bad, but okay. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. <laughs> okay, let's go. I don't need an escort. I'm not seeing any units here, but yeah, I wouldn't want to lose my apostle. Clearly. I lost my trade route bonus. Let's convert Kangaba back. Another Inquisitor. To convert Philadelphia. We're at 121. I might be like a few points away. I think I will actually be a few points away. That seems very likely. Man, this dust storm needs to piss off. Half of my districts got pillaged by that stupid dust storm. Okay, Buffalo will flip again in three turns. Okay, I don't see any defenses. I need to rush this if I want to get it done. Really, nothing defending it. Okay. Okay, there we go. So, one pop was enough. Maybe we can convert the other city. Oh yeah, this one had five population. That makes sense. This one has 16. So that was an easy target. I probably can't convert a 16-pop city, but I think we can do it. Uh, the galley will give me some era score. Did we actually make it? I think we made it. I think we made it. I think we made it. I can get some units from city-states. Can I? Yeah, from Fez. Right, whatever. Let's just do it. That's 125. I think we actually got it. That will be a golden age. Convert Kangaba. 
Convert Philadelphia. The galley should be enough, I think. Okay. Come on. Yeah, we got exactly 127. It's not the world's first seafaring unit, but it's my first. New opinions are all so there it is, we actually got the Golden Age. Obviously, I knew all along that we'll get it. It was just to keep up the suspense, you know? It was all calculated all along. Never not had it. I still need to repair all the districts up here. But all right. Yep, stupid dust storm, man. That's so annoying. That's really annoying. Mercantilism? Yep. Half my friggin' districts got pillaged by that one dust storm. I can still try to convert their capital, but that's pretty unlikely. They do have their own religion, right? Yes, they do. Oh, dominant religion in zero cities. They got converted. Oh, they lost their own religion. Interesting. I think I could actually convert that. Okay, I could actually convert that. We can also pillage some improvements on the way. We can maybe pillage that campus. Uh, send Mando Colo Cavalry, might as well. Okay, okay. Uh, I will buy the lighthouse. Uh, this would be a decent campus. Okay, let's grab the campus. I still need the science. I can explore with the crossbowman. <laughs> sure, why not? He can make himself useful for something at least. I need to help Tao Dani a bit, because this will take forever to finish. Yep, it will. It really will. How much gold to buy a builder now? 375. Okay, so uh, we will pillage the campos. We'll pillage the iron, that gives us some gold. I can move forward. Okay, let's just move. Remove the religion. Maybe we can convert that. That would be nice. That would be nice. Looks doable. A few more units wouldn't hurt, but it will take such a long time because of the 30% penalty. The 30% penalty is rough. It's pretty rough. And my income isn't that crazy yet. All right, we got the military engineer. I'll need two forts, but I haven't even unlocked forts yet. He'll have to wait. Uh, we should get more mines around here, because Petra. Let's go do that. Can I buy another Gurdwara somewhere? Or are we done with that? We can fight by a market. No, we're done with Gurdwaras for now. Convert Philadelphia back. I will go back to Nanmandal, but I need to not be at war with it. There's the spy, so gain sources. Let's see if we can convert Kabasa. That's my last charge here. Now, I could send one more guy and definitely convert it. So that's probably worth it. Yeah, that's probably worth it. Heck yeah, let's just get an Apostle, why not? I can convert this while we're at war. I can just get Era score for the next Era. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I might lose my cavalry here, but we got some science. Because yeah, I'll be in range of... No, we can move around like this. That should be safe. Uh, keep repairing. Uh, holy Sight. How much am I getting from scripture now? Okay, not as much as I thought actually, but we're still working on that. How's tech now? We're doing better. Okay, we're doing better now. I can definitely catch up, no problem. It was a bit of a rough start in this game, but I guess that's what made it interesting. How's Buffalo doing? Okay, rebellion in one turn. I do have better tech now, so perhaps I could retake Buffalo myself. Do we have a professional army? Yes, we do. I might be able to do it. 
We can give it a shot, why not? It's not like my Yogis have anything better to do. So I can still pillage this, I guess. Let's back up now. Check out the Apostle. Uh, okay, so not as useful. I can get the Baiter. Not very useful for actually converting cities, but what I can do is use two spreads and then just keep him as the baiter with one spread left in my territory for religious defense purposes. So that's probably what I'll do instead. All right, so I don't really need two arms all that much. I think I'll grab a hard bit of steam. I do have a few decent campuses, so that wouldn't be too bad. Reform the coinage would be interesting. That would give me a lot more gold. I normally don't pick this, because usually there are other options, better options, either two arms or a hard bit of steam. But in this case, that might actually be worth picking up. That's probably worth picking up. Okay, what the heck, let's grab that. Reform the coinage. Coinage needs reforming, yep, indeed. It does. Also, colonial taxes will be really good for me, because... Most of my cities are not on my original continent. More than half. My capital alone had three continents in its range. Which was pretty funny. Okay, Buffalo converted. 45 defensive strength. It's not that much. Maybe we can actually take it. Because I definitely wouldn't mind having it. Right, uh, mines for Petra City. Not quite sure what to do with this dude. I might just send him to Rapanui or something. Because I need to use him in a non-hostile city-state. So... That's not an unmandal, because Congo has it, and I'm at war with Congo. I don't need this anymore. We'll keep professional army. I guess I could get craftsmen. That's still kind of, sort of worth it. I guess that's still worth it. All right, craftsman it is then. Let's see if we can take Buffalo here. Oh, wait. <laughs> you seeing this? <laughs> Congo is losing city to loyalty pressure too. Oh no, line infantry. Okay, never mind. I'm not fighting line infantry with pike and shot. That's not gonna happen. But Congo is also losing a city here. Maybe we can get that with loyalty pressure. Looks like that might actually happen. Hey, their own damn fault for starting a war with me, alright? Their own fault. Nobody made them do it. Uh, oh yeah, right. Siege tactics. I don't think I'll be waiting for trebuchets. It's only four turns to research siege tactics anyway. Yeah, the domino is real. It is. It really is. So I will be posting a turn one save on Discord for anyone who wants to play along. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming today, everyone. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, most likely. I will probably just stream every day as long as I'm able to. See how long I can keep up this streak. So again, thanks for coming today, everyone. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you all next time.